love it. The, the earliest stuff of mine was home recorded stuff. It was like four track stuff and it had no real like obvious direction. It was just anything that I felt like doing. And some of it felt like it fit together, so I gave it a band name, basically. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not into the solo album thing very much. Like, I don't like the, the idea of, like, being the Chad Wells band or something like that. So <laughs> I've done a bunch of those kind of projects, and I give it, like, a, a fictional band name and, like, all of that. So it started out as that, uh, uh, a, a fiction band, to steal the term from uh, the Motel Beds bros. And, uh, but... Then when the band got together as a real band, I think it was a lot more like loud and noisy and a lot of a lot of delay and a lot of uh, just a lot of you know washes of sound like Sonic Youth meets Led Zeppelin or something. I think was kind of the direction we were going for, and uh, and then uh, it's just really tightened up. It's gotten cleaner really influenced by like a really broad selection of bands like we, we all really focus on the songs more now than the sonic um, noise that we make we used to we, we really like Jane's Addiction at least some of us were really like Jane's Addiction a lot and uh, so there's a thing that happens in a Jane's Addiction performance or on a Jane's Addiction album where there's sort of a, uh, a an overture or a musical passage at the beginning that sort of uh, sets the mood for everything. And uh, so we had our little version of that that we would attach to the beginning of whatever song we were opening the show with. So that the music for that was sort of Chris's uh, attempt at Eric Avery-ness. Yeah. And, uh, and it was, and it, but when we recorded Diamonds, it was like, or when we got ready to record Diamonds, I felt like that was missing from that collection of songs. Like there was no opener. It was just going to be kind of rock song, rock song, rock song. And uh, so I can't remember how far before the recording process, but but fairly close to the recording process, I I sort of banged it into an actual song and wrote lyrics for it. And uh, it it really was almost sort of not a throwaway piece, but it was just a sort of like a set, set the mood. It was yeah. a filler. It was a mood thing. And, but it's become like a favorite song. Like, why, why so plays the crap out of it, and uh, uh, UV Radio plays the crap out of it. It's our hit. It's the it's the hit song. It's <laughs> it's got the least lyrics of anything, the least musical <laughs> like uh, structure of anything, and it's the one that everybody tends to like. It's our sweet child. It, it is, is our sweet child. <laughs> Thank you. 